the new Oniko Stadium is expected to be ready for action before the end of this year. Final work on the lane of the new hybrid synthetic pitch is almost finished. Solomon Ajuziogo has been monitoring the construction work. The new look lush playing surface of the new Onika Stadium in all its greenery glory. Noise of the final stages of work on the new stadium. With the painstaking marking of the field and the pace of work, the pitch of the new Onika Arena is expected to be ready before the end of this month. Like one month, we can say it will be ready. For the natural grass, it will be improve if it will be grow in six months. But you can start to play in almost one month. The size of the pitch is 1.6 by 68 meter. For the length, 1.6, and the wide is the 68 meter. Strictly on FIFA specifications, our expatriates are here to make sure that it's been done according to FIFA standards and 80% done. We just need the plant infill, the organic plant infill, you know, to cover up and uh, it's set to go. This pitch type is one of five types available. Fully natural, reinforced natural, hybrid natural, hybrid synthetic, and fully synthetic. The new playing surface of the Unico Arena is type 4. The hybrid synthetic pitch is a dominant artificial pitch with natural grass. This is the kind of playing pitch at the Santiago Bernabeu, the home ground of 13-time European champions Real Madrid and many elite club grounds in Europe. It's a new technology. It's developed this year and it has hybrid uh, qualities, which means you, ma you mixed the natural grass with the synthetic one. But this is, is, is good, it's really, really good play. When it rains a lot, no problem because the water goes and you, still, you can still be playing, no problem. This is different from a dominant natural surface with 3% artificial hybrid grass known as Deso Pitch. The playing area is set on a concrete base with multiple layers of water and heat resistant membranes and shock drains before the artificial surface is laid. It's really important for people to start and play on this kind of surface because it's uh, it's nice to see. First, it's, it gives a, gives a good exhibition for the football. Once done with the laying and the markings, the filtered sand and coconut infill is added for natural grass seedlings to be planted. The infill consists of sand and this here coconut fiber. These are granules from coconut shell which will then be sprayed on the pitch and then seedlings will be planted along with the sand for the grasses to grow and lock up with the artificial pitch and that is where the pitch gets its name as hybrid synthetic pitch. It is made up of natural grass and plastic element, what you call the artificial elements. And that is what Onikon Stadium will have. And once this is completed with the planting of the seeds, then the pitch will be ready in a couple of weeks to be used. Salomon Ajizugu, TVC News, Lagos.